What is up guys, George back here, welcome to iDevice Central channel. Today I gotta show you how to properly uninstall live USB filter for USB devices and how to fix iTunes and Live Mobile device not recognizing the phone in recovery mode. So, you probably know that if you install live USB, iRecovery will work, but iTunes and Live Mobile device will never be able again to see your device when it's in recovery mode. Let me show you. I gotta open iTunes for you and I will connect now my iPhone 5. The USB sound is present but we don't see any iPhone in here, okay? And uh, we have to close this right now, but let me show you. If I open CMD and I CD into this folder and I write iRecovery uh, sorry, oh, sorry, CD, CD into this folder, by the way, okay, and write iRecovery, iRecovery starts, and I'm gonna say um, F, to see if it works, no valid file set, okay, S, and as you can see, I connected to my phone, it says iBoot 4 and 42, which is iPhone 5, the I, I boot version and serial number connection. Okay, everything is okay. And right now I'm connected to the iPhone right here in terminal in recovery mode. You can see entering recovery mode. And I can send commands like reboot or uh, set n, which is set environment, auto boot, equal. Now auto boot true. and save and the save environment okay so this is how i fixed the uh, recovery mode phone in recovery mode okay so you can see our recovery works now let me show you what to do in order to fix the um the this problem with itunes and uninstall correctly live usb beware that if you do not in uninstall live usb correctly you might lose your uh, usb connections uh, completely so you will if you if you don't uninstall this this driver correctly your keyboard your mouse your phone your anything that can be plugged in your usb port will freeze and will no longer work you will remain out of your mouse and your keyboard i actually felt it by uh, on my skin and it it is really bad when your mouse and your keyboard freezes you have to uh, to install again windows because even if you go in recovery mode on windows in safe mode it won't work it won't start your computer again so beware this is why i make this video because it's not that easy to uninstall this driver and can render your computer unusable so you navigate to bin folder and with this application you can create a driver as you probably created apple uh, here but you don't use this one you go into whatever platform you have mine is x86 install filter windows I'm gonna test it first to see. As you can see, we have here the details about the uh, the phone connected right now in recovery mode. So we have the driver installed. Gotta click exit. Go to install filter, click yes. Very important, do not click remove all devices filter. Go to remove a device filter, click next. And uh, if you don't see nothing, then try to plug. And if you replug and you don't see your device here, after that you go here because if you click remove all devices and you actually have devices right here, it will kill everything. So you have to actually look here to see if you have any device and if you do, you have to select it and click remove manually to all of them. And if you don't have any of them right there, you click remove all devices, click next. This will remove live USB Win32 as device filter for all known devices. Are you sure you wish to continue? Okay. All USB Win32 device filter removed successfully. Now if you go here and you see again nothing, it's okay. I'm gonna taste again the live USB to see. Disconnect the phone. Okay. And things are still working because we have a DLL. You go into Windows. System32, 
it's very important, do, do not restart your computer now, because if you restart your computer now and uh, you only deleted the drivers, your computer will freeze the keyboard and the mouse. You also have to do what I'm doing right now. Go, go to drivers, it's a folder, okay, drivers right here, right L and you will find live USB 0.system. Delete it, go back in Win32 and write again live, because you will find it again as a DLL file. Remove this one and from recycle bin, and uh, hit the refresh button, and now it's safe to restart your computer, okay? And I gotta connect my device. Your iPhone will not be usable because you removed the driver. You have to install again official stock Apple driver in order for your device to get... Look, if for example, uh, let me see if it records. Okay. If for example, I insert the driver now, pay attention to the sound. You heard it? It's, it's the sound that USB device is failing. Okay, so in order to fix that, now iTunes won't see your device because you left the iPhone with without any driver on the computer because you uninstalled the the one it had go to devices and you will see a lot of things right here but you're not interested in them and you will see this apple mobile device recovery mode with this little um little exclamation mark right here category unknown you go right here and it says as you can see unknown uh, unavailable unavailable hardware is live usb this is the problem we deleted the live usb drivers so in order to fix that you gotta go to add devices we'll search for a device of course and this will take a little bit but it's there is an uh, a faster option you go to control panel and administrative tools computer management and after you go here you close anything and your phone will still be in recovery mode it has to be in recovery mode if it restarts you put it again in recovery mode and when your thing starts go to uh, device manager we will list everything like right here and you will see live USB win32 devices you go right here and remove this one uninstall click OK and this is how you properly uninstall the driver. Now you press this uh, this um, glass right here, and we'll say other devices, Apple mobile device, and we'll install it successfully with iTunes device. Now, if you click right here and you go to details, to driver, it's Apple ENC. Now the iPhone should be openable via iTunes and iTunes and iRecovery, iRec uh, iRec sorry, iDevice Restore, which is Live Mobile Device, should detect it. Okay, we got it, iPhone 5, and we, had the, uh, we have this iPhone running again. But unfortunately, if you uninstall um, Live USB driver, iRecovery won't work again. Look, if I say S, we'll say no iPhone, no iPad. So this is the problem. If you want to use iRecovery, you have to have live USB. When, you, when you're done with iRecovery, you have to uninstall by this method uh, live USB driver in order to be able to use uh, the, uh, the driver with the, the phone, sorry, with iTunes and live mobile again. Also, Red Snow should be able to see my phone again, iPhone 5 recovery mode. So this is basically how you uninstall this, this thing. As I said, it's pretty tricky, you have to go in different places in order to uninstall it properly. If you, if you go only in one place from the video, for example, if you only delete the files from System32, or if you only delete the drivers from LiveUSB app, or something, or if you, if you only delete the driver from Device Manager, you will end up with your computer being freed without any USB device working, including here your keyboard and your mouse. This is very important and this is how I created the video. In order to, this is why I created this video, in order to help you not to get you uh, locked out of your computer as I did with myself, without knowing, of course, all this knowledge. So, thanks for watching, I really hope this helped you and I really hope you'll come back to this channel for more tech-related videos and I'm George, do not forget to like, share and subscribe and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video. This is George logging out.